Hi guys, it's Monday afternoon, it's actually Monday the 12th of June, and this camera's getting rather hot. <laughs> Have you noticed that? This does get hot if I use it for a long period of time. Anyway, it's 3.36, I think you said 1.36 because my eyes didn't see the 5. It's like my eyes just choose not to see certain numbers and letters when I read things. But anyway, it's 3.36. Um, I was surprised this morning because I bought two items last week. We've got one coming for free that hasn't arrived today. But uh, I got this one in the mail today. It's a very um, tatty looking... Um, well, the listing said Tildorn, but it's got a wolf lamp case. So, I'm not sure. Did, did Tildorn make these first, or... I don't know. But um, it does work. I've got a battery in it. It's just a steady burn. I uh, only paid £6 for it. As you can see, two different colours. Two different styles of lenses as well. If anything, this one looks like the Tildorn lens. Possibly. You can see the shadow right there where the light stem is because it comes out. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's still a, a nice unusual lamp. It's the only red version of this I've seen, so I definitely thought that was worth uh, getting and adding to the collection. I can uh, I can give this a clean up. I'll get some rub and alcohol stuff and give that a good clean. I might get some white spirit or something and just try and clean off this red paint as well. Just to tidy it up. It does look a bit tatty and look bad like that, doesn't it? Um, also got a pony plushie in the post. I'll show you that in a minute. I've completely cleaned up this... Well, not completely cleaned up, but cleaned this bench up enough to get photos of this one, that one, and another one down there put on eBay because there's another lamp that's uh, caught my eye that I left on charge for 12 hours it's dead but I'm gonna try and open it up take the battery or the batteries out it might have two six volts in there and see if I can charge those up separately with a, um, a car battery charger on the six volt setting of course I've got this trim in here missing. It's around here somewhere. I picked it up the other day and was like, oh, I need that. I've got those all to put on. I'm not including any RAM. I don't have much DDR3 RAM as it is, so I'm keeping it. Isn't laying up here, is it? I remember seeing it. I was cleaning up and I remember seeing the damn thing. Catch train needs a clean again. I think that's the Samson keyboard. So I've got to put that back in. Uh, apologies for the background noise. I've got a uh, washing machine going. Because I need some clean laundry. What's this? Tender. Tender. Oh, I wasn't going to throw that in the bin. No, I can't. I need that. Alright. I'll we'll take this through there and that cover. Find the other cover. There's some covers in the box up there. I've got a feeling there for the Toshibas. those on before I uh, take the photos I think so I can take a photo of all sides. Start work on this one I've got a few things added I've got two nice bottle cage bolts in, a nice seat post and clamp on there, 
and the rear brake, which is a BMX brake, oddly. That's the brake that came with it, and so did the seat post clamp. Like I said, I've painted the two um, um, headstock bearing caps, which is what I'm waiting on to dry at the minute. Because I can't lay it down to do the bottom bracket or anything like that. Here's Vinyl Scratch, my latest pony plushie. And in the show, these two, Octavia there, the grey one, uh, live together. Well, that's what the show implied in Season yeah, 5, Episode 9, if memory serves correctly. I believe Episode 9 was a slice of life. Anywho, I've still got things I need to do, like get these laptops photographed. Which is, uh, I'm going I'm to put them up at £10 each, or best offer. I've got to find the uh, bits to stick on them though. But uh, I've done so much sort of tidying up, there's no telling where I've put that bit of trim for this one. Never mind. I'm sure it's here somewhere. It's being sold as spares repair, so... Yeah, I just realised this one doesn't... I'm leaving the processor in, I'm going to leave the battery in. There's no hard drive. I don't know where the caddies are either. I've got mixed up, so... Anywho, I will... Uh, I will uh, report back later. Bye. For now. Right. Can't do any more to the bike. Because I was fitting the right hand um, bottom bracket cup. Slipped with the spanner and took a huge chunk out of the paintwork. So I'm uh, having to patch that up. I'll just put the first coat of red on, so I'm going to have to let that dry, and I'm not sitting in the bedroom watching paint dry. So, I figured... Yeah. Three more screws on now. I figured I'd uh, try to get into this. <laughs> Emphasis on try. Come on. Ow. Take the screws out. There isn't one hidden on here, is there? So I want to get in through this way, because then hopefully it would mean that I wouldn't have to, you know, take the whole damn thing apart. But precise moment it doesn't want to play ball. Let's get rid of that sticker. Hmm. Why is there one right in the back here? Oh, hang on. It's got a screw here. And it says open. Let's 
take the screw out here. Ah! We take the screw out and what's in the bottom? A couple of batteries. That is. Let's get this poxy thing off out of the way. It's just a carry strap. This is where I put a hole in the side of the battery, isn't it? I'm trying to get a flame thing out there. Oh, here we go. Ooh. 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 We're connected and it is fused. Bodged up fuse on there. Have you ever seen something fused like that? <laughs> it works, but... Right. Fuse is good. There's battery number one. There's battery number two. It's just the loop wire. <sighs> right. Where's my wanky piece of shit? Do da. I call it a wanky piece of shit because this thing tells me fibs. According to this, we've got nearly. Well, just over 5 volts in that one. Four point seven in that one, right. I do actually think this one does work. In fact, I can try that. Because right here, I've got a brand new 9 volt battery. So that should say... 10 volts. Yeah, it usually is sort of half to a 10 volt more than what the actually says on the battery. So, I know that meter's working. So, two seconds. This charger it seems to charge pretty well. Well, it will. As long as I remember, I've got to put a fuse in the bottom because it's fallen out. I don't know where it's gone, but it has fallen out of the bottom. Let me get these two cables untangled. It's a fuse box. Oh. Get it? Fuse box? No, I can't remember. We want it on 6 volts, don't we? I think it's a 10 amp fuse that goes in it. I think. <laughs> we are about to find out. Okay. If it goes pop, then it's the wrong one. I'll have to put a bigger one in. John Light batteries. Well, the fact they've Clearly, maybe it's because there isn't, still isn't enough charge. Don't be a pig. 
heinas on mi. Uffa. Right. <laughs> oh, excuse me for a second. I'm gonna squeeze past you. Find the plug socket. Green light is on. Do I have six volts or thereabouts coming at me clips? Do you have seven volts? Close enough. Good. So, a lot of the older ones I had weren't really designed to have the batteries removed. You know, the sort of design that uh, once the batteries were dead, that was it. But, uh, I'm going to charge these up individually like this on there and I'll keep an eye on the charge. Watch some paint dry probably. Decide what I want to go and get to eat. So, yeah, they're not rattling so they're good. And even if the torch itself doesn't work, I've still got two good 6 volt batteries for something. Or a 12 volt battery if I stick them both together. Actually, I've just realised <laughs> I could dodgily try and move that without the crocodile clips pinging up from shorting on something. There we go. I thought that's exactly what they were about to do. Now, obviously, it's at 12 volts. Here, my 12 volt battery. Is it charged? I don't fucking know. <laughs> We're about to find out. Probably not, knowing my luck. Well, probably not enough. Should be, it wasn't that long I charged it. 11 point something volts. We'll try it. Uh, a bit of too cool wire in my box over here. Thing we'll do just to do a little bodge test sort of thing. Ooh. Right. I'm also gonna. I'm not gonna shine this at the um, camera because it's gonna be effing bright. Right. Can I? Somehow, get a wire and wedge it in there somehow. It's only got to stay in there for test purposes at all. Something that sounds like a fan. No, it's not the PC. Right. One. Two. Grab the other end. One on there and one on there. The lamp works. Can you see that lighting up? Definitely not as bright as it should be, but it is working. So, I am pretty certain it's those 6 volt batteries at fault. So, I'm going to leave them to charge up. Probably find something to eat. Give that bike frame another touch up. And uh, I'll be back later. Right, should we see how we're cooking? Just disconnect that. Uh, 
Right, how are we diddling? Not far off, 5.32 volts. It's no quicker doing it this way, but it means I can get them up to charged. Or get, get them up to charged. Get them up to charge this way. Put them back in the torch. Hopefully the torch will work. And then I can just use the actual mains adapter that I found that fits this to um, maintain the charge. Oh, pardon me. Right. The other thing I've been doing is um, trying to build another electronic kit. <laughs> but again, there's a fault with it. Um, I'm not sure what, well, the chip that was in that socket was getting fucking hot and it's not supposed to. So I've got a feeling that, that might be the issue. So, let's see if I can, um, I might just go back to the cellar and see if they can uh, ship out a spare maybe but I've also noticed that the socket isn't soldered on flat to the board and there's some solder joints on there that could be a bit better on that socket so I'm gonna I've got my soldering iron heating it up I'm gonna um, redo those but I'll tell you what that solder that my stepdad was um, has given me is a it's a hundred times better than the crap I was using Although um, it still sticks to the soldering iron tip pretty damn well, which is annoying at times. I know you're meant to have some on your tip, but I find when you're working with a chisel tip like I've got, you tend to get solder on other um, pads where you don't want it, at least not yet. Because uh, I've done that and I've had to go along with a solder sucker tool to... Uh, clean the pad off because I've not put anything in the pad yet and the solder's blocked the hole up. So, apart from that, my solder joints are ten times better as well. A lot more acceptable. Um, so I would actually say, if you're going to start off, you know, soldering and tinkering with electronics like this and whatnot, Get yourself some half decent stuff, don't go really cheap. Get a half decent soldering iron, some good solder. The solder sucker tools are cheap anyway, so it doesn't matter with them. But uh, yeah, I'm actually enjoying building these circuits. It's a shame that so far only one works. But I know I completely buggered up the clock, so I'm going to order another one of those. Because um, that chip that got really hot could have been knackered in um, transit. I'm not over-volting it. It says on the board 3 to 4.5 volts, so I put through 3 volts. I'll actually put no more than 4.5 volts through it and it's still getting piping hot. In fact, if I didn't take power off, I think that would have melted the socket. But because a lot of these Chinese sellers, they don't ship the chips properly, what would have taken was a bit of static or something, a zapper and uh, one dead chip. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little while when I've uh, sorted that socket. Okay. That was really piss poor timing. Anyway, <laughs> so was that. Piss off. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that little chip. It was um, the twat using it that was the problem. What had happened, I thought I'd put the green wire in the positive connection on the board. That was my intention and the blue one for the negative. 
I hadn't done that. I'd put the blue in the positive and the green in the negative, so I was putting the wires on the battery round the wrong way. I just thought out of curiosity, once I'd um, reseated the socket for the chip, all I did was just use the solder sucker, take the old solder off the pins that were slightly elevated and uh, pressed the socket down and hey presto and redid a few and then out of curiosity I just turned the wires around and it started working so <laughs> but this one I've actually damaged the circuit board itself beyond repair and I've tried to even you know replace the trace with a little jumper in there I don't know if you can see that but uh, yeah you can right there still doesn't want to know so I'm going to do a bit of shopping I think when I next get paid or even when I sell or if I can sell a couple of these laptops because uh, one of them that I've listed earlier has sold I forgot to say that earlier uh, this one, it's not that one with the bottom cover I've seen it's this one so I've actually got to box this one up and get a label printed and get that posted um, so I actually bought another road lamp. I bought that one I was talking about earlier. I don't know what that was. That was hard, whatever it was. Um, as for my guts, they're doing really well at the minute. Best they've been in a while. Um, I'm still going to get myself a doctor's appointment because I want that other problem that keeps rearing its ugly head dealt with once and for all. Um, even that's not too bad today I can actually walk around comfortably when you get in that much pain and discomfort you might think oh it's only a little old you know hemorrhoid it's just a swollen blood vessel Ew, fuck me man do they hurt <laughs> they really do anyway I've had the fan going in here because it's been acting as a makeshift extractor fan because I uh, well you can see what part of the frame I had to touch up so I was putting that cup in, slipped with that wrench and took a chunk out of here. So um, I had to re-primer it and uh, just went over it with the red can. So, but, yeah, anyway, because it's stunk in here, I was sort of putting the fan on, which is sort of blowing it towards the window. And it's actually uh, done the job. It doesn't stink of paint in here because it really did stink when I come in the flat earlier. Um... So obviously I need to let that dry and it's now too late to be clanging around with that. It's actually, I think it's nearly 10 o'clock if it hasn't gone 10 o'clock already. It's 10.15 by the clock on the wall. So uh, no more fiddling with that frame until tomorrow, unfortunately. Which isn't a bad thing because that will give that paint time to dry out overnight. These should be near enough dry. No, they're still tacky. But I use that enamel type paint to go around them and that does take a long time to dry. It's a pity they don't do, you know, the spray can paint in a tin. Because <laughs> primer dries pretty damn quick. The actual paint, well, it can dry to the touch quite quick. But I suppose it isn't dry dry for several hours. Uh... So yeah, I'm, I'm a happy chappy. I'm happy that this one actually works. Again, you've got that stupid little... Where is it? I need to find a pot to put all these in because they make... Stupid. I could have put that in instead of the two wires, but I don't have any leads to plug on them, so... I've just been sticking there... Uh, um, just a couple of bits of wire in, just soldering some wire in. But uh, when you look at this, there is a couple I goofed up on the joints, but when you look at this, if I can get it to focus on it, doesn't that actually look ten times better? Like I said, apart from a couple of uh, large looking blobs on there, than what I did here, with several ugly looking solder joints. And all I've done is changed the solder I use. I've got, this is what my stepdad gave me. Like I said, he said it was uh, $3.99 on eBay. So he just 
this huge, great big heavy roll of it he had. Well, I say huge, it's probably about that far round, but the actual centerpiece was that thick, so he just you know, pulled off a huge great length like that and rolled it up for me. So, but I actually find this combined with this, which is a decent soldering iron, it's got, it's got a decent tip on it. I just I could do with some more tips, you know, like a, a pointed tip because I've got to do drag soldering for one of the um, chips in there because it's surface mounted. I didn't realise that. If I'd known it had had a surface mount chip in it, I wouldn't have got it. Well, that again was my own fault because I didn't look at the um, auction properly, so I can't blame the seller for that. Any either way... Oh. Uh, yeah, either way, I can't complain, you know, I still haven't checked or tested the um, thingy kit out yet, the um, audio meter, VU meter, whatever you want to call it, but um, I can't really see no reason why that wouldn't work. <clears throat> so currently, three out of four kits... Um, working isn't bad for a beginner, I don't think. Uh, well, I can't blame the kit because it was my own fault. <laughs> but I could easily just dismantle that kit there. I can take the LED displays off and whatnot and keep them as spares. So that's not a great loss. Um, I didn't upload today's video, did I? I haven't done that yet. No. And I still haven't done the um, reviews of those two Lego cars. I can't get on the desk yet anyway. I fed you and you threw the bugger back up because you scoffed it down too bloody quick. It literally looked exactly as it did when it went down. Not even digested, no stomach bile or anything in it. He just threw it straight back up. Because he's a tit. There we go. I brought you a letter! Oh God. Tell you what, when I took a chunk out of my paintwork, I did say a few colourful words. <clears throat> Uh, the sea bomb was one of them. Don't know why I was blaming the bike when it was actually my own fault, but never mind. <laughs> you do when you're in a grump like that. <laughs> Some days are sent to try you. Today is one of those. Yep, we all have days like that. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that because it's political and I know YouTube can get touchy on such subjects otherwise I'd be talking politics all the time and other such things but uh, if your video is considered controversial in such way they'll pull your ads I don't see why advertisers, you know, are that hung up on such things. Yeah, extreme videos I can understand, you know, if they're trying to promote some sort of extremism or something. But just because you're voicing an opinion or trying to start a debate going, you know, who cares so long as your adverts get seen and your product is being sold, does it really matter? I didn't actually think, you know, companies cared about anything so long as they could sell their products, but obviously I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just there, da, 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 da. someone's selling a little scooter, but I've heard that before, needs a little TLC for an MOT. Yeah. Forgive me for being a bit sceptical. And considering it's called a Firefox, and I've never heard of one of those type of scooters, so it's probably Chinese, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot barge pole. I've had experiences with the cheap Chinese scooters, and they ain't good. If someone gave me one, the only thing I'd do with it is just dump it, <laughs> scrap it, or whatever. Holy crap, I do apologise, showing my tonsils off. <clears throat> See, there's so much I want to say about the recent general election here, and I just dare not I actually reckon if I did, I could, you know, and actually talked about such subjects, you know, everyday subjects that affect us all, I could probably generate no end of subscribers and views that way, but, uh, can't, because YouTube's a pain in the friggin' ass. Do, do, do. If there's anything interesting on here, I'll oh, stop being a pain in the ass. There we go. Bobbity bobbity bob. Bibbity bibbity bob. That seller I bought that funny looking road lamp off of today. He's uh what day is it today? What is month? For some reason I was thinking today was Tuesday for a second. Yeah, I bought two lamps today, one last week, I thought that was enough. <laughs> That's enough lamps for now. Because <clears throat> the same seller's got a few lamps that I uh I wouldn't mind actually. Crank the volume down a tad. Oh, I did something really fucking dumb in the workshop yesterday. My stepdad, well, me and stepdad were trying to um, get a different kind of hose to work with those fittings. It was from um, what carpet layers and floor layers use, like a big old compressed bottle bottle of compressed glue basically you know you can turn it on and spray it with a little gun that's what the hose was for we were hoping we could use that to make an air hose up for mine but it just would not go over the fitting so we tried using a hot air gun you know heat it up to make the rubber more pliable no that didn't work I forgot we had just used it went to move the hot air gun and grabbed hold of the metal hot nozzle the um, hot metal nozzle uh, <laughs> That did hurt. Um, I damaged my skin on my fingers because I've got quick reflexes, thankfully. My mum's got asbestos hands, so it probably wouldn't have bothered her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They use batteries. Fire. A am um, a friend of mine who's a firefighter enthusiast or a fire service enthusiast I should say uh, I said be careful if they are cheap don't want to get 
the fire service out. They run on batteries anyway, these circuits, you know, they're only designed to be like, uh, you know, just cheap fun kits to build. A bit ticked off because I spent all that time getting all them resistors looking tidy. Look at that. <laughs> and the damn thing doesn't work. I did wonder if I got the polarity wrong on this one, but I have looked at it and checked it and... Uh, according to the markings on the board, I've got the wires around the correct way. And I'm sure on these, red is positive. I might just change them around now for the sheer hell of it, just to see uh, if that... Sod it. It doesn't work anyway, so... I do sorry about... I do sorry about that. I do apologise about that clang. I'm putting you down on the table a little bit too hard. I've got a different battery clip. That's got some bad wiring. That's what I was looking for. Do is trip the ends down. <laughs> It'd be funny if this worked, wouldn't it? Alright then. You never know. Silk screen could be wrong. Who knows? Like I said, it doesn't work anyway, so. I can't break what's already broken, can I? Get in there, you sod. Alright, now... <sighs> Stick this back in. Somewhere over here, we have a Ninvolt battery. And plug in... Ninvolt battery and uh, stuff all. But as these are better wires, I'm actually going to um, switch these around and uh, <coughs> get the live wire actually stuck in the socket. And that's all moving around now, isn't it? Don't tell me. We have a joint problem, I think. Because, uh... Hmm. I'm actually wondering if I've got a damaged transistor on here. Maybe this clock circuit's not a lost cause. Maybe I do have a problem with it. But I just can't see at the moment. Maybe I need to troubleshoot a little more. Yeah. going to be problem. These connectors are so cheap and crap. I've actually broken one of the screws. <laughs> ah, I oh know, I can order shit loads of these little blue connectors cheap on eBay, so I'm not too worried.
rack. Cut on. This one I think I still need to play with, but I'm not going to do it tonight. I think I know which solder joints I need to pick on now, since I brushed that uh, wire over it. I've got that other solder, so I can actually take it off and uh, redo them. I can actually go through and redo most of them if I wanted to. But, uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye!